Hmm, I want lasagna. No, wait, I want soup. No, I really want lasagna. No, I want soup. Well, guess what we're making? Lasagna soup, you got it. It's going to be yummy. Let's get our ingredients out. We need an onion. Peeled and chopped. Well, I cut the whole thing up at the end of the day, but I didn't use it all. I will put that aside in a container. For now. Until we get to the rest of our stuff. Peppers are next. Green and a red. Okay, I only had an orange. We're going to chop them up in the nicely diced pieces. And we'll do the orange next. Toot loot to loot to to just like that. I mean it's awful quick to do when you're doing it on time lapse photography. That doesn't really take that long. And this container is gonna I'm gonna put all the stuff we're dumping into our soup. We are using a crock pot. One pound of ground beef we need, preferably lean or extra lean. Now we do want this somewhat cooked. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper to your taste of course. Mix, 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 mix. Cook, 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 cook. We're about two thirds of the way through when we put in about half those onions we cut up. And we'll let them cook with our ground beef. Mix her all together. Starting to look good. The hamburger is mostly cooked. And this is going to go in a slow cooker, so I'm not too worried if it's not exact. Our garlic's in next. A good five cloves worth. Yummy. That's at the very end. Last 30 seconds-ish. It's all nice and mixed around. We'll take that off the element. Mushrooms. Coarse chop on them. You want to do slices, whatever, that's your call. You don't even really have to put them in, but we are. So the onions, I put the rest of the onions that we didn't put in with our ground beef. I put that in the container and here, of course, is the rest of the mushrooms. Basil. Hmm, that's fresh basil. I don't think we need the stems, but we do need the leaves. Now, I can't say I'm the best expert at chopping up basil and that. I don't do that bad. Now, the trick is you kind of bunch them all together, roll them up tight, kind of like that, and then you just slice. And that's going to get most of it chopped up without much effort. Go the other way a couple times. And there you go. Nice freshly chopped basil. We'll put that aside until we need it. Now here's our slow cooker. Now the nice part about this is once you get everything done and put together, it's pretty well dump and go. You do have to watch it. This isn't necessarily one you could leave for the day while you go to work. This is more like a... It's going to take some time. You really do need to watch it a little bit, but... I suppose you could go to work and put the last ingredients in at the very end. So here's our ground beef and onions. Next up, all the vegetables that we cut up and put together. Yummy. Now we need some tomato sauce and tomato juice. So here's some tomato sauce. One jar of that. Now, in retrospect, I would have been better at this point to do an equal part of tomato juice. I think it would have worked better. But I put in two of these because I need to puree tomatoes too. 
and that seemed to be pretty close to what I was looking for. Although, once you put in the tomatoes, see we need more tomatoes, and that is petite diced tomatoes, so the real small dice to them. One can, or you could do it yourself. One container of beef broth, in she goes. And now I'm a little worried that this is going to make it a really full soup. So if it's only a couple of here, one, half this recipe. And you won't be disappointed at all. There'll be more than enough. You'll have leftovers and the whole bit. Because this actually made a lot of soup. So I'm just carefully stirring everything together because it needs it. And I want to make sure that, you know, there's no air pockets. And, you know, I'd rather stir it now than once we get going. Because we have more to throw in. This is about a teaspoon of seasoning salt. Another teaspoon of pepper. About a half a teaspoon of parsley and of course what's roughly a tablespoon of basil now we'll mi carefully mix that around okay i think we're ready to rock and roll here looking pretty good we're going to turn on the slow cooker and this is going to have seven hours of cooking Yummy. So here we are at about, well, we're about an hour in. I checked it. These are um, Parmesan rinds that I had from other dishes, but we're going to throw them into the soup. These are leftovers I've saved just in case I need them. And, you know, it just so happens for the soup, this is going to work out fine. Part of the recipe, and you need a strong cheese to be able to taste it in your soup. The other part is we needed mozzarella. I had zero mozzarella shredded in the house. But I had mozzarella uh, slices. So with the assistance of my daughter, she offered to cut it up. Basically, we're going to end up making homemade shredded mozzarella. So we cut it both ways. And that's pretty well our cup of mozzarella. Just like that. Maybe not perfect, but you know what? It's going to do what it's got to do. We'll give our soup a quick stir. And let's throw in the cheese. You could likely, if you wanted to, you could probably leave that until the very end to throw in. But let it all cook and mush together with all the other flavors. That's what I like. Just like that. Oh, and this is some shredded parm that I actually had. Remember where the rinds came from? This was part of it. So I'm putting in about a third of a cup, maybe. You can put in more if you want. I mean, lasagna is cheesy. Uh, it will thicken up the soup, though, which is why I suggested that instead of that second jar of tomato sauce that you put in tomato juice, well, we're about five hours in, and into the pot is going to go our Mafalda noodles, little mini lasagna noodles, which I thought was appropriate for what we're doing. You could also cook them on the stove until they're al dente, and then throw them in because they are going to absorb some liquid this way. And I'm like right on the top of that pot right now. But... You could also use whatever type of noodles you really wanted to. I just thought it was cool because they were small lasagna noodles. Now we're carefully going to stir everything around. And keep in mind that we only have another couple hours to go. And we got one more ingredient going in at the end. There we go. We haven't overflowed it yet. All right, we're doing good. Let's get the lid on her. And we'll check back on this in a little bit. One last stir and you can see how thick it's getting. Mm, but it looks good. And it smells wonderful. So we just make sure that we're not scorching the bottom. So far so good. Looking really good. 
So here we are. We got about a half an hour to go. Spinach. Now this of course is optional. But you can see I'm putting in I wasn't sure how much to put in. It's closer to two to three cups. And now the fun part. Now I gotta somehow get this into the soup. And I know in about 30 seconds it's all gonna wilt down to nothing anyway. It always amazes me is how little there is once you're done warming it up and giving it a little cook. So I just kind of pushed all the soup over it. And there you go. So I had enough room for a little bit more. So that's probably about two and a half cups of spinach I put in. We'll put the lid on it. And here we are at the finish line. I'm going to give it one more stir. See how it's looking. You can see how most of the spinach is shriveled up into almost nothing. But you can still taste it. And here's our bowl. Now, because I didn't use the tomato juice, it's more like a, it's almost like a lasagna stew almost. But it's still, I'm still calling it a soup. A little bit of our leftover parm on top. And there, my friends, is this real simple lasagna soup. Yummy. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.